what, when, when, when we launched Employee First Customer Second in HCL, that was 2005, which transformed the company, um, increased its revenue by seven times, market cap by 20 times. The younger generation was just coming up doing startups. So uh, the millenniums and the ability to manage millenniums is a completely different uh, scheme of things. Most of the new ideas are in the heads of millenniums, predominantly because they are not experienced with a legacy way of doing things. So innovation is all about managing the millenniums, managing the contradictions within millenniums, managing their likes and dislikes, managing their new ways of working, so that you can get the best out of them because they are not willing to be married to the legacy, and therefore they can disrupt the future. So the next level of leadership ethos which is happening is the ability of making these millenniums come together for productive, innovative, disruptive change which your organization sees rather than suffocate the millenniums in your traditional hierarchical suffocating environment and getting nothing out of them. I think that's the interesting leadership mantras changes which we are seeing, which is not just employee first, uh, uh, driven, but also the ability to manage the contradictions of millenniums, uh, accept the contradictions of millenniums, and get the best out of them because they are the only way, who, they, are, they are the only one who can innovate you out of your current situation. I think uh, the CIO office has, has started with doing everything yourself. The second phase was outsourcing uh, stuff which is not critical and therefore doing the critical stuff yourself. Then it was outsourcing the non-critical stuff, partnering in the critical stuff. And now we are in a phase where nobody knows what needs to be done. So this easy answer of partnering and outsourcing is no more an answer. Now we are coming into thinking. Now the only person who is digitally literate or te technically literate and has certain sense of trends of how it will impact the business is the CIO. So the CIO cannot be a doer anymore. He or she has to be a thinker. And therefore from being a manager or managing relationship with outsourcing vendors or managing relationship with partners, he or she needs to forget about managing but about thinking. And therefore, we will see more and more CIOs becoming CEOs because they have a better pulse, uh, smell, uh, and sense of the future and the way technology is going to disrupt. If the CIOs blow this up, then I think the possibility of CIOs becoming CEOs is going to vanish very quickly. Remember, during recessions, a lot of CFOs became CEOs. So during digital revolution, I see a lot of CIOs becoming CEOs. Uh, so it is in the hands of CIOs if they up their game uh, and becoming thinking leaders rather than uh, doing leaders.